G'day guys. The last of the spring environmental flow is still running down the Campaspe River. The water's still a bit high and dirty. I've taken the lures out a few times but haven't done any good. The fish are just struggling to see them. So I've brought the Janjuk worms back to a spot where I caught eight fish in a session a few weeks ago. Here's hoping I can get one, let alone eight. <laughs> Some big fat juicy Janjuk worms on the hook using a running sinker rig on both rods with just a little bead to stop the sinker going all the way to the hook. Now same strategy as last time for placement. One straight out here next to this weed bed and the other one over there next to the weed bed over there. That's where I got all the bites last time so hopefully they're still in the same likely spots. I ordered a heap of uh, fishing bells online but they haven't arrived yet so the ghetto bells are making a comeback the old bulldog clip with a spring wound around them from a broken pair and last time I was here I caught a tench over next to that weed bed which was my first ever tench hopefully there's a few more of them around but apparently there's roach in the system now as well so I suspect both species have washed in over the spillway at Epilock during the floods last year anyway time will tell Something's playing with this bait. I'm sure of it. Got him. Oh, I lost him. Bugger. I wasn't even sure there was a fish on there. I just thought, oh, geez, that line's moving a bit more than the wind um, would uh, cause. So I, I struck. I was half expecting there not to be a fish on there. <laughs> but there was, and I lost him. Oh well. Tiny tap, didn't even ring the bell. That's what was happening last time I was here too. Oh, I missed. Bugger. Well, there's two shots that I've missed. <laughs> but the fish are here, so it shouldn't be long before I get onto one. Hopefully. There we go, that one rang the bell. Oh, come on. I lost another one. <laughs> Cheeky buggers. Only left me bait. I'll get it back out there. I felt weight. I doubt he's going to come back, but there seems to be plenty around again, which is lovely. That was another bite, same rod, didn't ring the bell again. His fourth time the charm, here's hoping. Got him that time, don't get off. Whoa, he's tiny. <laughs> Absolutely minuscule little redfin, but I'm on the board, eh? <laughs> Are you why I'm losing fish, mate? There's a, there's a school of you guys out there, is there? Hey, hard to hook, get off easy. There we go, look at the sun on him. One absolutely tiny red fin, look at that. Not even as long as my hand, he'd be about nine centimeters. <laughs> See you buddy. All right, fish on the board. After three misses, I got one. Having said that, the weight I felt from the last fish was much more than that. So <laughs> there's probably some carp around as well, or a nice big red fin would be nice, but let's just get me worms back on the hook and get it back out there. Well, that tiny fish explains why they weren't ringing the bell as well. <laughs> They're not very big at all, the bites I was getting. You'll probably notice the angle that I'm observing the rods changing throughout the video. It's because I'm dodging the shade. There's a bit of a chilly wind today and the sun is absolutely lovely. So I'm just moving my chair to be in the sun. <laughs> Another little tickle. Whoa, whoa, that's a bit bigger than a little tickle. I was slow there. I was trying to get the bells off and he came back quickly. I wasn't ready. It might cost me this fish. And people ask me, do the bells cost you fish? Yeah, they do cost me fish, but I see twice as many bites as I would if I didn't have the bells. So they also score me a lot of fish. 
Oh, I missed again. There must be more of them little redfin. They're very pecky. They're trying to strip the worms off the hook. Good bite, good bite. See if he wants to come back. It's probably the best bite I've had all session. Just had a tap on this rod. I missed the bite because I was stopping and starting my recording to make sure I was recording. <laughs> but something's playing with this bait. Got him. A little bit bigger than the last one, that's for sure. Not a monster though. He's coming in. What have I got? Just a carp. I don't think I need the net for this guy. Surely, oh, he's only barely lip hooked. I better. I don't, want, I don't want him to get off. <laughs> I want to remove as many of these from the river as I can at the moment. It is littered with them since the last floods. Oh, how are you hooked on my net, mate? How'd you manage that? There you go. Mid 20 centimeter carp pulled out of the Compaspe River. He's not going to get to grow big. <laughs> Thanks for coming to play. See you later. Well, a little red fin and a little carp, but it's two fish and I'm happy. <laughs> there we go. I saw it move, didn't ring the bell. It was a gentle pull. It could even be a yabby, but I'll be buggered if I'm not picking the rod up anyway, <laughs> just in case. <laughs> but on the other rod, just pop this one back down because I've been holding it for about a minute and he hasn't come back. So I'll leave it there and we'll check this one. Well, they're teasing me. I'm getting bite after bite on both rods, but I can't seem to hook them. <laughs> I reckon those tiny redfin are out there. Oh well, here's hoping uh, something bigger comes along or I get a bit craftier in my hookings. <laughs> that was a good, good bite. I was just about to put something up on Instagram and Facebook. If you're not following me there, you do get extra photos and comments and fishing reports and stuff above and beyond my YouTube channel. I was just playing with my phone, putting up a new thing on Insta and this one tickled again. Come back, come on. There we go. See, this one wants to come back. I've had countless little tickles and nibbles that have resulted in nothing so i'm going to edit a lot of those out they're keeping me very busy i'm just struggling to hook into them <laughs> got him yes if i don't lose him it'll be fish number three and it's another little red fin i knew it there's heaps of these buggers out there and they're toying with me geez he's got some he's very faded this one can barely see his stripes. There we go, unhooked. He's about two centimeters bigger than the last one I caught, if that. <laughs> Another absolute baby. See you, bud. <laughs> oh well, the trend of little fish continues, but at least I've hooked another one. Even the little carp make good ant food. <laughs> He had a few goes at it. I was about to strike, but I think he dropped it again. Frank will be happy that I unclipped the bells before striking anyway. G'day Frank if you're watching. <laughs> Me and Frank have an ongoing bit about the bells, although I suspect he's not joking. <laughs> couple of good taps again most of them are only doing that though and then buggering off they're figuring out that it's not a good idea to eat it <laughs> crafty little buggers hopefully this one wants to come back got something playing with this one I just put the bells back on that one after the last bite and now they're back on this one they are pestering me got him another little guy <laughs> He might be the biggest one, the biggest redfin anyway. Oh, it's not even a redfin, look at that. 
Is that a tench or a yellow? I think it's another tench. Yep, my second ever tench. Look at that. <laughs> Same spot I got one last time. Much smaller than the last tench I got. He's about oh, 13, 14 centimetres. Not very big at all. I've got a photo of the last one I caught. I don't think I need a photo of this one. He's not a record breaker. Gee, they're pretty though. For something resembling a carp, they're very pretty. <laughs> See you later, mate. All right. A carp, two redfin, and a tench. And all very, very little. <laughs> Back out go the Janjuck worms where they were, just there next to the weed bed. As usual, there's a link in the description if you want to pick up some Janjuck worms for yourself. They're my favourite type of worms to use fishing. Well, I caught four fish in the first hour here, including my second ever tench. And the next two hours I've just spent feeding my Janjuck worms to the fish. <laughs> Without a word of a lie, I had about a hundred bites and I've missed about 15 or 16 fish on the hook. I reckon I caught the biggest reddies that were in there. The rest must be about this big, I reckon. They're just stripping the worms and swimming away. But I've had a good time. Hopefully you had a good time watching. I'll see you in the next one.